Welcome back to Signalis. We have a couple of keys, one of which is a post box key, so let's use it at the post box. Five one two. Library key. So that actually leaves us with two keys, the library key that we just got from the post box and the eagle key. The library goes to the library, of course, and the equal key goes to the Adler bedroom. And the library is just down here on the same floor. We're going to have a couple enemies to run past here, so <laughs> let's be ready. Oh, yo! Oh, shit! That hurt. Ow, ow. Ah. How are we doing? Okay, yellow. Not too bad. Ah, oh, no enemies. A small room with no enemies. Elster Overview. Elster, Land Survey Ship Technician Replica Magpie. A Generation 5 Cosmo Pioneer Specialist. Frame, Biomechanical with Carbon Fiber Reinforced Polyethylene Shell and Titanium Skeleton. 178 centimeters. Hey, that's my height. A versatile combat engineer unit primarily designed for orbital service. These tough and stoic loners are best suited as specialist sappers and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists, especially when in their iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration, which sports bullet-resistant armor plating on their chest and forearms. Since the original neural pattern for this unit was lost with the destruction of the central neural archive on Veneta, New Elster units have been produced based on a decommissioned unit from a Penrose program. Adler's Diary I've been fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture I discovered in storage. A strange box with a removable dial in the front that was confiscated from a worker some time ago. I was instantly drawn to it, though I'm not sure why. When I put my ear on the mechanism, I can hear it faintly clicking like a clock. Without Calibri's help, it has become much harder to coordinate the logistics cadre. If there's anything good to say about that woman, it's how she knows how to make others respect her orders, despite her minuscule stature. I went to see her today, but her room is still locked. I had a dream tonight. Another memory of my gestalt life, I believe. I was wearing my uniform. There was a young woman, her hair white as snow, and I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them and asked her to guess the planet on the card I was holding. Her hair white as snow, that's the same woman we've seen. I was playing with that mechanical lockbox again, of which I am now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar, when I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I have never seen before, some type of engineer with an orange chest piece. In my memory, she was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on Sierpinski. Replica memory is not the most reliable, they say but never before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. The little enigma of that box could only distract me from the chaos around me for so long. All the box contained was a small notebook, of which all pages turned out to be blank. It's been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. I long for her stern guidance, that overwhelming authority in which she bathes a room. More sick making my work ever harder. How are we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? My only consolation is that our protector staff decreases. As our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica end up in the hospital wing, gestalt workers seem to succumb much too fast for any attempts at treatment. Another diary filled, for no benefit but my own satisfaction. I've not ordered a new one yet since I spent my saved ration marks on that marvelous looking fountain pen. But I guess I'll make use of that notebook. 
Oh yeah, this is the box. There's a hole in the front of the box. Looks like something's missing from the mechanism. Yeah, we definitely cannot do anything with that yet. Okay, let's head to the library. So down, down, right down, down. It's about to get loud. Right down, right down, right down. Okay. Oh, there's more. Think we're good in here? Huh. Oh, hey! Someone here. The Miner? How do you pronounce that? Mina, right. That uh, was the boss that we fought. Generation 3 Industrial Specialist. Biomechanical with high security reinforced armor plated servo shell. 260 centimeters tall. My god. When it comes to dangerous cargo, heavy machinery, and hazardous environments, no other model rivals the Mina units with their high security power armor bodies. Even in lethal radiation, under crushing pressure and in zero G, they keep their calm demeanor and show exemplary teamwork. Despite their hulking bodies, underneath their face shields a standard Generation 3 cranial construction can be found, making maintenance and social interfacing as easy as with any other replica model. Please note that the Mina Neural Pattern is not suited for combat use. For combat applications, the Sapper variant should be used, which employs a combat-capable persona in the same frame. For more information, see... Schnapper. Ooh, what is this? Let's look at that last. Replica Known Issues, Part 4. This is, yeah, that's just the confidentiality <laughs> agreement at the beginning. Calibri. Great care should be given to Calibris. Their neural patterns are very unstable, and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible to influence from others. Like most bioresonant individuals, Calibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop, imitating and then broadcasting the emotions of those around them, acting as a sort of amplifier. Hmm, this is probably what we've seen when we've fought them. I think that's been what's going on with them. They're echoing and broadcasting the emotions of everyone around them. And as we've seen, people are not happy. <laughs> there's there's some nasty messed up emotions because people are people are hurting. While they're trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Due to their bioresonant connection, neural pattern development in Calibris varies less than in other models. The constant exchange of memories and emotions between units of a cadre act as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. However, once a majority of units in a cadre degrade, they will drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it is important to decommission Calibri units instantly when they begin to degrade. For persona stabilization, Calibri should have access to a well-stocked library. Hence what this place is for. Repair spray. Can I read this? No. Okay, let's speak with them. Who are you? You're not one of our staff. So this is where one of the Calibris has come to just try to stabilize themselves. Amazing that they're holding it together at all. Given that none of their friends have held together. The others. They've changed. 
We no longer sing in unison. I used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Together, we guided them all. But now, I can't understand their thoughts anymore. I've never been so alone before. They're still together, and I'm here, outside, and they won't let me in. I can't stand their song anymore. This is the only place where I don't have to hear them. This is the only place I'm safe. I can't go on like this. I wish I had become like the others, too. At least then I wouldn't be alone. I hate this. Mm. Alignment error. Use manual controls. What's that say? I'm not sure what that says up there. Like, what? Is this just a book storage? Why does it exist, though? I mean, there's obviously books, there's bookshelves, so then why are some books in here? I don't know, but... There's a couple books, one there and one there, that look different from the rest. This one looks a little different. I'm pretty sure this is the only one that matters. Like, will it even let me select any others? No. Wait. How do I... How do I actually select that book? Oh yeah, this thing's like totally broken. You can only move it in like a very specific way. I think these books are sticking out. Like you can see these are sticking out past... The level of the shelf. Um, it looks like all of them except this one and maybe these up here possibly. So I think it's hitting them. Yeah, it's going this way until it hits that one. Then I can go up and then I can probably go to the right to hit that one and then down and... Um, oh man. Yeah, this is actually kind of complicated. Okay, I think... Yeah, yeah, I think this will do it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's what goes on the box. Astrolabe. A strange clockwork-like dial mechanism with astronomical symbols on the front. Back of the device looks like it might slot into a bigger mechanism. Yeah, we know exactly where that goes. I don't know about what to actually input into this thing, though. But for now, I guess we just take it over there. It's on the same floor. to get very loud. And again. Oh, I just dodged him. Alright. Alright.
believe what we just saw is related to the star map. So Haymot is the like North Star. And if we look at this, that's the North Star there. So I think it's where are these relative to that? Ah, there we go. Okay, so it was sort of um, process of elimination a little bit. Uh, I try to associate the shapes with the different planets, thinking like what shape might the ice planet be or the poison gas planet. I don't know if I just got lucky or if that actually worked because I couldn't really <laughs> make a very solid connection between the shape and the actual planet description, but hey, it worked. Ah, <gasps> administrator's key. That's what we need to go in the mining shaft elevator. Okay, this is the diary that they thought were was empty when they opened it, and then they started filling it out. I do wonder if it was actually empty, though. Shrine Diary. I've started yet another new diary. How time flies. The work is dull and monotonous as ever in Sierpinski, but a bright light illuminates my day. Today, I was invited to a meeting by Commander Falk, and she was as magnificent as ever. Another day passes. During my meeting with the commander today, I felt the strangest sensation of familiarity as I sat with her. Sadly, our meeting was interrupted by an unexpected power outage. I've been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never before have I felt so strongly the sensation of deja vu as I have these past few days. When I check the pages of my diary today, I notice that for some inexplicable reason, I seem to have dated my previous entries with today's date. What an embarrassing mistake. It's still the same date. Yeah, I've noticed. It didn't change. Every day feels a bit like I've lived it before, and even stronger is the sensation that something is somehow just slightly out of place. Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? Why are they all dated to today? Has the loss of my beloved commander finally gotten to my mind? Am I going insane? I fear what will happen to me if anyone finds out. I am alone in this. If they discover my notes, I'll be decommissioned too. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Is this really madness? When I read the pages of my diary, I recall events that never happened. A yesterday that never was, yet it feels as real as the one I actually experienced. This cannot merely be a defect of my mind. It feels as though in this room I peer into another version of reality. How? I do not know. Perhaps I too have become sick like the others without realizing. But I will not succumb. A slow accumulation of reproduction errors, a gradual corruption of information, a story misremembered, slowly morphing with each retelling, like genetic material, mutating and evolving, like the replica mind copied over and over from an aging template? I do not know, but I will find out. The answers lie below. I can feel it. Someone or something calls me from there, in the mine. God, I'm scared to go in the mine. Mine shaft access is just next door. Just a quick jog past these. Whew. It's the mineshaft access elevator controls. If she's still alive, she's probably there.
I know you're here. I've done this countless times before. You don't belong here. Get him! Fuck yeah! music was intense. What are these stones? This looks alien. No map data. I don't want to go through. I'm scared. It's probably the same thing the other way. Oh no. This is blocked off. But it's blocked off by these growths. Like they've grown over the man-made constructions. Almost like... I don't... Almost like it's taking over this place. These growths. I love how the light reflects off of these stones. Absolutely gorgeous. We can go that way. God, you know what this reminds me of? In just like a very vague sense. Martian Gothic Unification, that that um, really cheesy and honestly not very good Resident Evil, um, like Resident Evil alike, that I played really early on on my channel. Don't recommend watching that playthrough, it's horrible, but it's an interesting game and this kind of reminds me of, um, it reminds me of that place, I don't remember the name, Necropolis maybe, I think it was called? When you go all the way down and you find a rather alien, strange looking place with work lights all over the place. Just reminds me a little, a little bit of it. What are these? There's just the one way to go. Monofilament fiber. Handle with care, risk of death. Monofiber will effortlessly cut through limbs and equipment in an instant. Always wear protective clothing. Do not touch monofiber without proper protective gear. Only handle in brightly lit places. Diameter is less than 2 nanometers on average. Oh my god. Is that what they use to... Mine? To cut through stone? Monofiber? This monofiber reels everywhere. Can't go that way. Can go that way. Oh shit. That's a mina. 
That's what we saw over there, the pile of, like, weapons or mining equipment or whatever they look like. This is one of them here. You're not going to try to kill me like the other ones, are you? Doesn't seem like it. Hey. Ah. Hello. You're not a protector, are you? What brings you here? I'm Bio. If you're down here, you're probably looking for something. I'd help you, but one of my hydraulics failed and I can't move. I'm pretty much done for. You can just leave me here. Hmm. There's no point repairing an old unit like me, so don't worry about it, okay? It'd be a waste of resources. But I want to help you. I'd offer you my mining laser, but I don't think your frame could supply the power output. You're probably better off using a gun. There should be some useful equipment in the mining office. It's just south of here. Mm, thank you. Yeah, so these are mining lasers. Don't worry about me. There are many replacements. We're just replicas after all, right? In the end, what's one drop to an ocean? When I die, they'll just make another. Jesus. Thank you for talking to me. I hope you find what you're looking for. You are not just a drop in an ocean. You're a lot more than that. All the replicas are. They are clearly people. Okay, safe room. Flare gun? Have we found a flare gun before? Signal flare shells. Mm, yeah, let's read this. Alina's diary. It's worse than I thought. Everyone has disappeared. I still haven't found any trace of Elster. It's as if she had never been here. Something's wrong with the protectors. Those that are still around. A guard spotted me earlier sneaking out of the medical wing, and she let out a monstrous scream as she chased after me. When I looked back, I saw her face, and now I can't forget. It looked like she'd been in some horrible accident. Yeah, do we have a flare gun? No. Yeah, we have the thermite flares, but we don't have a flare gun. A single shot gun for firing 26.5 millimeter emergency signal flare cartridges that incinerate targets. Okay, yeah, I was thinking. It acts like a thermite. Well, a thermite gun. So instead of throwing it, you shoot it. Or actually, I don't think you even throw the thermite flares, do you? I think you just use them on a body. Whereas this can be used on a one that's actually still walking around, I think. wonder if it's a guaranteed kill for even stronger enemies. Hmm. Let's toss the repair spray away. Actually, how am I doing on health? Yeah, I'm still hurt, actually. Take a repair patch. I'll take a little bit of time. Oh, now that's pretty much instant. I think I'm gonna store this. Just keep my pistol with its 10 rounds. That's enough. If I encounter something really, really difficult, I'll just run away and stock up. Alright, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. When I return, 
We're going to see if we can find out the secret of the mine. 